Well, it's going to be a belting day, to be honest, Chris. Um, not only do we have um, Ramsey and Vagabonds playing in the league at 3 o'clock, we've got the two second teams at 1 o'clock, and at 11 o'clock, of course, there's uh, Ramsey under-15s against Vagabonds under-15s in a, in a friendly game as well. So uh, trying to uh, bring all levels of both clubs through for a, for a big day out. I know there's a, a president's lunch in the clubhouse as well, so uh, it's going to be a great day up there at Bella Fletcher and... Uh, uh, should be a belt and game as well. Looking at last weekend's results, uh, both sides with a big win, uh, and both will fancy their chances for this one as well. And when it is a local derby, you do get that buzz. Players are itching to get out there and show what they can do. Uh, the people who support each team are really up for it. They want the bragging rights. You're in and around both squads, more so Ramsey, obviously. But but do you get the sense that they really can't wait to get out there? Yeah, yeah absolutely. From the minute they got off the pitch last Saturday in that uh, home game against Newton the Willows, uh, the, the focus on, first of all, when the results came through, around about half five uh, with the three o'clock kickoffs in the UK. Uh, when those results came through, oh, Vagabonds won, and that, uh, and then it's all debate about what uh, what the selection might be next week, who might be in their side. I, uh, it was just fantastic to watch the guys all buzzing and uh, uh, genuinely excited about uh, uh, the next week's match before they really had time to digest what they'd done in the afternoon. So, yeah, uh, a great little buzz for everybody.